but nilikuwa na ombi moja ile furai uarabic forum i needed your support in celebrating my husband's life and uh, in this regard i was requesting that we don't mourn mr mwita and especially in black clothing but we celebrate mr mwita our theme is green it is green celebrating a life well lived Nawashukuru na niseme hivi I'll read the tribute niliandika kumsikiliza mume wangu but nilikuwa na ombi moja ile furai ya Arabic forum I needed your support in celebrating my husband's life Mr. Mwita made a difference in lives of many. He never left things the way he found them if it meant to change them for better. And uh, in this regard, I was requesting that we don't mourn Mr. Mwita and especially in black clothing but we celebrate mr mwita our theme is green it is green celebrating a life well lived when as if you want amen then i just want to do it my own way my love my husband and father to our children mr ezekiel mita kitiba i want to thank god for the days he gave us together to thank god for the well groomed gentleman you always have been thank god for the blessing you have been in the entire of our marriage i thank god because you clearly have been a unifying leader for our family ever since our dad kitiba left Thank God for the kind of energy he endowed in you. I want to thank God for the beautiful heart you had that touched the lives of many and almost everyone who encountered you. I thank God because he gave you focus to do quite a lot of meaningful work both at the family level and in your workplace. You work and tire me more than 12 hours daily. It's like you are working with a deadline my love. I thank God for the counsel you gave to us your family and also people around you from all walks of life. 
You have put meaning in the lives of many, regardless of social status, tribe, and color. Ezekiel. Asante sana kumpenda kwa kofi mama basi napenda kuchukua kiti chake kwa heshima nitaweza kumwalika mtoto wa kwanza lieutenant mark mwita aweze praise god Nigeria na ito lieutenant Mark Magara Mwiti Passport in the Zekiel Mutagetiba Before Nianzi Nigependa Sana Recognize the presence of Wanda Wete Mwakuja Kumisindikiza Babayam Na kutisaidia kama familia kwa kumisindikiza Babu Sio kila mtu Hakona roa kama uwe We took time from the Kuzi Shemils We will always do it forever Appreciate that Niliandika hii, niliandika tribu, lakini I don't think I need it. Ezekiel Mwita Kitiba, our dad, was not a dad to his family only. He was a father to me, to even those who he did not know, to those who are under him, to those he led. Again, he was one of the most perfect sons, to those who are above him. One of the fathers he used to talk about was Tashuri. He talked about someday whoever was under was he was under he was a son to them. Sometimes he lack words to express how he feel because kama huko nje kuhiri I do not know what I can say. But what I can say is that we thank God for the time He gave us our dad. Mtumishwa mungu wa mesema ya kwamba dad did not waste any of his time. My dad used all of his time, dedicated all of his time for his family, for his job, for his country. And for that, we will forever remember the landmark he has left. Once again, may you rest in peace, dad. Thank you very much. Kwenye yale yote ya mbobisho kwa niweza kuundea kwa mba tuwache legacy. Pasi kati ya zile legacy ambazo meweza kuziacha mwena zaki. Imi nikiwa kozi mwaka wa elfu mbili na sita. Inaweza kukumbuka kitendo kimoja akiwa RSM kuna msichana alilaka kwa barak. Hakaita ndoa kakuja kakumabia ya ingie ndani ya ndoa. Kwa sabi ya kwa na usingizi sana ya ingie ndani ya hiyo ndoa. Na hakika haliweza kuingia na hakafiti. Banezi wa Sifiwe. Our peers, Dr. Raymond Omolo. DIG representative. General officers present. Um, Ambassador Nakoe, and I need also to recognize the presence of Omar Shuria, who was a mentor to my late brother. Sky Walter Wanzamu, Familia Gitiba, Walter Wano Mifika Hapa, Wajili Shuguri, Napenda Kutua Ishima Zangu Kwenu, Na Kusema Kwamba, Ile Ishima Zangu Metupea, Nesu Kusawa. Najua leo ni zale 26 ambapo kila mtu atakana kuwa kwa hake, atukumuzika na familia yake. Lakini umuwasha kuwa muda, wengine mkavaa uniform, na wengine wakasafiri kutoka mbali, kuja kuwa hapa na sisi. Hata ni minaona viongozi wengine wako hapa kutoka kuja kuria, kama vile mwishinia mwita nyangi, kijana yetu imanga ni mwita. Hata ni leona hapa, umoja kama nilia ni mahili hiva mnuzi roo. Na washukuru sana kwa mda wenu. Na mimi nasema kwa mba na uombea. Mimi kusema kweli ni kwa na mamumeni sana ya kusema kusimu yangu. 
lakini kwa sababu sana hakika kuelezea sababu za kubomoa aidha utabomoa nyumba yote ama patu viti convincing language yake ilikuwa mapema wakati alikuwa anamchukia madam Sara Sara was a very difficult girl in the village kila mtu alikuwa anamfahamu na vijana walikuwa wanamuogopa nao alichofanya ndugu yangu hadi leo sijawahi kujua hata siku moja nilimuuliza Sara in fact at the night of the marriage siku ya harusi Sara alikataa kulala kwa chumba cha mwita akataka kulala na mama mkwe it took a lot of intervention kuelewa kwamba kulala na mama wake sio mbaya Mwita ni mtu ambaye ameheshimu wakubwa kubwa wake The last time I saw him was on 12 of this month siku ya Jamhuri ile tukiwa pale nyumbani tulikuwa na sherehe kidogo ya kula mbuzi na alipopewa nafasi ya kuongea kuonyesha kwamba alikuwa anatambua chain of command alipenda ku quote kitabu cha chinua chepe things for a part chinua chepe alikuwa mo ibo and apparently ibo zon kwa na noto proverbs so akawa anatueleza kwamba unajua among the ibo mtu akikuita kwamba uende kusherehekea kwake si kusema una chakula kwako ni kwa sababu ni vizuri kutana na kushirikiana pamoja. I didn't know kwamba leo hii tarehe 26 tutakutana hapa. Si kwa ajili tunakosa kitu wa kufanya lakini kumwaga ndugu yetu Ezekiel. Aliti wakuu wake na huko ajili akatumia mfano wa msafara wa mamba na ukosi kurukenge. Sasa kwa anasema kwa familia yetu mimi ndio mamba, brigadia ndio mamba. Sasa akasema hii ni kukenge hapo hapo karibu tu anafuata. Hiyo ni the ability to recognize seniority in the family. Sasa mimi nataka kusema hivi. Ndugu wetu ametuacha, nimeona heshima kubwa, nimeona ushirika mkubwa kuanzia kwa DAG, the National Government yote, kila mtu amesimama na sisi. Na kwa mfano wangu wa idara mbalimbali na generali walioko hapa sasa kwa niaba yake mimi nasema hivi kama kuna mtu ambaye muita alikanyaga vitole kwa sababu yeye pia alikuwa anachochewa na kina bwana Omar Shuri ambaye alikuwa nusu jeshi nusu 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 polisi walikuwa anamchochea akina baruzi hapa kama alikanyaga vitole maana yake ndio kuna wengi wala ametrig hapa there was a time in one of the social media picha yake ni service from nowhere nikaona askari mmoja anasema kwamba hii mtu alikuwa mbaya sana alikuwa anatumiza kwa hivyo niko na hakika kwamba wana ambao wanajua walifurahia uhusia wa kufurahia direction ambayo alikuwa anawapeleka kama amekukanyaga vidole umuie radi umsamehe sababu sasa yeye yuko hapa kuomba sasa naomba kwa niaba yake kwa familia ya border patrol unit familia ya embakasi a campus na familia ya SGB kwa sababu hapo ndio amesaf ndio alikuwa zingine pia mimi nachukua nafasi hii kuapa pole kwa niaba ya familia ya Kitipa najua wengi wenu mmeguzwa na kutoweka kwake kwa sababu hiyo ndio mipango ya Mungu baba ni I thought I'm next kwa sababu mimi ndio mkubwa na hata nimestaafu sasa mimi niko free Mungu akitaka kunichukua hakuna mtu atauliza swali But to my surprise sasa kijana mkubwa ndio ameenda amewacha familia ambayo